Hello, welcome back to NX Tutorial. So in this video tutorial, we will explain how to create lofted shape by using lofted flank tool. Review picture below, a lofted shape with different cross section. As you can see in here, on the front, it have a semicircular shape. Meanwhile, on the back, we have rectangular shape. For the tutorial goal, in this example, we will learn how to create multiple sketch with certain distance. For example, I have a sketch 1 and I have a sketch 2. It has a distance. And how to create lofted shape with lofted flank tool by using this different cross section. In this tutorial, we will study about how to create a lofted flank in an X sheet metal. Start the application, activate sheet metal. We're gonna study how to create lofted flank. We are now begin with create a sketch. Use on plane. Select this X Y. And then in here, we create a sketch. For example, we're going to create an arc. Use this one, arc by center and endpoints. Click this one so as the center. And then we insert the radius 100 millimeters. And the sweep angle, for example, 180 degrees. Finish. Now this is the first sketch. Next, we will create the second sketch. Go to a datum plane. And then in here, select at distance. We're gonna select this one. So it has a, a parallel sketch with a distance 200 millimeters. We can click OK. Next, we can create sketch in this new uh, datum. Select the datum. And then, we start to draw a rectangle. We can use rapid dimension to adjust the exact dimension of this. For example, in this case, I want it will be 210. And for this, I will enter value about 165. Okay. And I want to adjust so this point will be coincident in this point. We still can use rapid dimension. For example, in here, I click one, two, this one, we will enter value zero. So it will coincidence. And also for this point, we can click and select, select as the horizontal a distance. Enter the value zero. So it will exactly coincidence in here. Then we finish. You can see we finish the sketch. Right. Since this is an open sketch, then it also must an open sketch also. So we return on the sketch. Make this line as this one. Convert to reference. So after we convert to reference, when we click the sketch this become an open sketch make sure when we want to use a lofted flank we must use open sketch like this one and then like this one okay let's go to lofted flank in here there's only one option a base select curve 
select the first curve make sure the point is at at this one one end and when you select the second curve also make sure the point at the same side like this one now notice in this we have a preview and then we can click OK now let's observe in here we have a sharp corner on the sketch but on the actual condition the lofted fling will create a certain radius like this one so it will automatically adjust to create a same a thickness or uniform thickness from here to here to here so that's it how to create a lofted flank using nx sheet metal